Hi, welcome to the second video on Simple Machines. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about two terminologies. One is mechanical advantage and second is velocity um, ratio. So first, let's, let's use a, a, a liver as a case study and let's try to solve a question. So the question is as follows. Here is your fulcrum and you are trying to lift a stone which is about 50 kilogram uh, force, um, that's about a 50 kg of force, and your length of the load arm, so that's, that's about the length of the load arm, which is the length of the load arm is 20 uh, centimeters, and your, the, the point at which, approximate point at which you're applying the effort, the length of the effort arm is the LE, is given by 200 centimeters. So the question is how much effort how much effort you need to put in? Your your load is given as 50 kilogram force. So I'd like you to take a pause and try to solve this problem. Hope you have paused and solved the problem. The answer that you should be getting is um, effort is the effort is 5 kilogram force. And the approach that you take is as follows you you say that look your effort is responsible for uh, a, a torque which is in this direction uh, against your fulcrum that means due to your effort there is going to be a counterclockwise or anticlockwise torque and due to the load you're going to have a clockwise torque against the fulcrum which is a clockwise torque uh, a clockwise torque so the way you solve this problem is you say that the torque clockwise equal to torque anticlockwise and the torque clockwise would be um, a load into the load arm and anticlockwise would be the effort into the length of the effort arm the length of the effort arm and you will get uh, load by effort is equal to the length of the effort arm by the length of the load arm and that's equal to uh, length of the effort arm is 200 divided by 20 that's equal to 10 so which implies your effort is equal to load by 10 which is 50 kg F by 10 that's equal to 5 kg F now note that your effort is 5 kg F for balancing the torque so of course you are you are going to put in a marginally greater effort than the 5 kgf which you have uh, got here but you get an idea of how you would be able to calculate the effort with the fundamental principle of uh, e equation of equilibrium um, and 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 then you say that okay i have to put in a little bit more effort than what i got so this quantity l by e that you have got here which is a quantity of l by e which is equal to le by LL, so which is L by E is equal to LE by LL, is what we call as the mechanical advantage. So in this, this is mechanical advantage. So in the previous example, we got an MA of 10. So MA greater than 1 implies that you are having an advantage, which is you are applying less effort, less effort or or we call it a force multiplier a multiplier right um, so this load by effort so you can also say that you know your load is nothing but your output force output force which you're getting and effort is your input force right so what the me if you get a mechanical advantage greater than one that implies that your your output force is greater than your input force and that's why we call it as a force multiplier you say that that's a force multiplier because your your output is which is nothing but your your load that you're able to carry is greater than your f input which is your effort right so that's why you call it as a force multiplier if you get a mechanical advantage as less than 1 then we call it as uh, you know you don't you don't get the 
force uh, uh, multiplication, right? You, you, your, 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 your effort would be greater than load. That's what it would mean. One thing to uh, keep in mind is, is this equation is true for an ideal case, which is this L by E equal to LE by LL is true for ideal case. And the reason is as follows. So let's say your, your, your torque that you give as uh, input would, would, we are saying that's equal to the torque for output. Um, and, and usually you're, you're, you have to give a little bit more input torque than the output torque or in, you know, because, because of uh, efficiency, you know, there would be some loss of efficiency, et cetera. So not everything that you give in is translated to the output. So for that reason, torque, input torque is usually greater than the output torque, which implies that your load into, uh, uh, sorry, the input would be your, your effort into uh, the length of the effort arm would be greater than the load into the length of the load arm. Or in other words, your L by E would usually be less than your LE by LL in, in, in a non-ideal case. So this is a non-ideal case, uh, a non-ideal case, right? And uh, in, an, in an ideal case, you will have, uh, this is an ideal, uh, this is an ideal case, or we can say ideal mechanical advantage is L by E, uh, or mechanical advantage is always L by E, but ideal mechanical advantage will also be equal to this quantity, right? Will be equal to this quantity. Um, because usually your MA would be just L by E. So MA is L by E, but ideally you will get it equal to LE by LL. In a non-ideal case, your, your MA would be less than LE by LL. 